Hi guys, welcome to Office Bloke's Try. I am Office Bloke Dave. Let me out. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Shut up. <coughs> Collectively, we are two of the Office Blokes. The other, the other Office Bloke is uh, otherwise indisposed. Indisposed at the moment. Um, he demanded too much money, didn't he? Got, got big, didn't he? We can't afford him. Got anymore. big, yeah. Got big. Yeah, it's on got to you. Out of you guys. Got a massive fan base. Now he's driving around in like a. I don't know, a convertible Skoda, <laughs> giving it the big one with his fur coat on. He's on TV with Holly Willoughby now, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, office boat Mike, uh, someone in his house tested positive for COVID. Can you believe that's still a thing that's happening? And, what, people uh, living with Mike or? People living with Mike, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so he's isolated until he gets the results of his test back, but he is oh. all right. Don't worry, Mike is perfectly fine. Well. As good as can be. He's not, he's apart not, he's not dead, ill. Apart from being dead old. And <laughs> yeah, the Alzheimer's <laughs> is definitely kicking in, but he's all right other yeah. than that. So, we are going to try some Old Rosy Scrumpy, which, I mean, it's officially called Cloudy Cider, but everyone knows that as Scrumpy. And that is a hell of a bottle. Isn't it? I'd be lying if I said I haven't bought at least yeah. 30 of these in my life and drank them to myself. Do you know what that is? That's when you go into a festival or you're going somewhere, camping, and you want something cheap, and you want plenty of it, it's going to get you absolutely leathered. Oh, it does weird things to your scrumpy. That's what you buy. Yeah. I think for that, it was about... Fiver. I don't think it was a fiver. I think it was less than a fiver. I, I used to buy these years ago when I was in Cornwall for... Three quid, yeah. For one of these, it's about, I think it was about. I'm not, not. It wasn't far behind that. I don't think. So, for people that don't know, I think in the states, if you're watching us from there, you'd call it hard cider. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, um, and it's basically just very, very alcoholic apple juice, cold pressed. I think I just made that up, but we're going to go with it. Um, and it's usually got sediment in it, half a dead wasp floating around in there it. There is heavy sediment in that. I can see it. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Yeah. The, the, there's a reason a lot of people... Passing me, I'll take it to the camera so they can... There's a reason a lot of people in Somerset don't have too many teeth. Somerset. <clears throat> See the sediment in the bottom there? It's kind of our version of Rednecks, isn't it? Yeah. Down in Somerset. Somerset. That sort of area. So, uh, yeah, this is a staple of the southwest of England. Like I said, I've drank loads of it, and proper scrumpy does do weird things to It's you. a summer drink for me. I associate cider with summer. This isn't like a, a Magnus, though. No, no, I know that. Cider. Mate, you're talking to an alcohol professional here. Oh, that smells good, man. It smells beautiful, doesn't it? Ah, oh, oh, man. <laughs> we should have got off his bloke Chris in on the night shift. <laughs> to cover for Mike. <laughs> He'd have denected it down like one. I know, yeah, that's a shot. Mm. And a fun fact is when I started making my own fortified wine, I was making port for a while, uh, using moonshine as the ingredient to kill off the yeast to keep the sweetness. I was making it in one of these, using it as a demijohn. A lot of people, a lot of people do use them. Yeah. <coughs> That's I've, a great bottle. I've got the gallon demijohns at home, but this is half a gallon. Even when this is finished and you, you, you finish with it like that, you can easily sort of like strip the cap off, put a candle in the top and make a good ornament. Imagine that as a petrol bomb. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you know rioters are serious. Got those <laughs> not with one of them. <laughs> that. I mean, let us know. I know you get hard cider in the States. Mm. I don't know about in the rest of Europe if they drink. I know they have like sparkling ciders. Like oh, when you go, nowadays, when you go in, um, uh, in an Irish bar, and there's Irish bars all over the world. Everywhere you go, like Chinese restaurants. Yeah, everyone's, Irish bars, Irish. Everyone's, everyone's Irish, yeah. And you get like a uh, Strongbow or Magnus or, you know, things like this. This is the English equivalent but a lot stronger than things like your Strongbow, your Magnus. Um, what's the other? 6.8%. <coughs> yeah. Bulmers is one of the other ones. Bulmers is one, the one I'm thinking of, yeah. But now you've got, everyone does cider now. I suppose we've got recording. Swedish one that's Swedish. Yeah. Oh, I, I know this stuff well. Oh, it's good, that. It tastes like piss. It's that good. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is... Your piss, if you drink that whole thing, will we'll smell, smell and look like taste that. Yeah. and look yeah, like exactly. It. Yeah, and don't judge me. <laughs> this is uh, one of them when you see the kids getting on the bus for the away day, and everyone's got cans of Stella <clears throat> and cans of whatever, and the, the, the young 
18 year old gets on whose skin got no money he's got two of these and you know he's going to be the pistol part he's going to be throwing oh, yeah. up on the way home I'd respect him for oh, it oh they do the kids get massive people. respect from me when they, uh, when they rock up with one of these in my younger days I've tried to drill a hole in that and make a bong out of it <laughs> <laughs> even uh, in my teens didn't work smashed turns out I don't know what I'm doing don't know what you mean mate but that's um, do you know what it is it doesn't taste much doesn't taste strong tastes like apple juice but that's gonna that'll throw you right over the edge yeah, yeah. <clears throat> i yeah uh, i was drinking some stuff not this but scrumpy a, a similar one that was eight percent a few years back fluorescent orange it came out of the pump and it was completely flat completely dead tasted beautiful it was so nice i think it was a mix of red apples and and green apples i don't remember Leaving where I was, I had to get a train to get home, which took about an hour. I don't remember anything until I woke up the next day. The only reason I knew I'd had a kebab was because it was thrown all around my living room. It was everywhere. It does mad things to you, this. And my girlfriend at the time wasn't talking to me anymore. So Standard. Night, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, it was a great night. <laughs> that had nothing to do with what you were drinking. It was a great morning as well. <laughs> <laughs> ah, peace. Peace and quiet. I'm only joking. But it definitely watch. send you over the edge, this. And if, if there was YouTubers in America who wanted to try this and you could send it over as a care package, I'd send them. That's what I'd send. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, if you could. Yeah. So predominantly from Somerset, like I say, the southwest yeah. of England, you get scrumpy Cornwall, gets good cider, but scrumpy is yeah, Somerset. Somerset traditionally. Yeah. Somerset. And he, the Wurzels, <laughs> I am a cider drinker. Yeah. We could probably dub the music into that somewhere, can maybe, we? Maybe, maybe. maybe. Um, anyone out there who watches Jeremy Clarkson's farm on Amazon... Because I know that's gone global. He's, not, he's in the Cotswolds, though. No, I know he is. But the guy that builds the walls oh, yeah. is a typical scrumpy drinker. Yeah. You can't yeah, understand the fucking <laughs> word they say. Just, that's because of too much of that. <laughs> yeah, there's just not many teeth in the head, but they're happy. Yeah, It's a happy drink, and that's why I like it so much. No one's drinking that and getting violent. Do you know what it does, though? I've not had scrumpy for years. I mean, I drink cider quite regularly, especially cloudy cider as well. But that's <clears> like, uh, you know, Strongbow, Cloudy Side, yeah, yeah, Cloudy yeah. Apple, Thornton's and stuff. Is it Thornton's? Thorn? There's Stouffer Press as well. Stouffer Press, I like that, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but this brings me back to when I was a kid. Yeah. Remember the cider lollies you used to get? The ice the ice pop lollies. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah they still do. Popsicles we used to get, yeah. the cider lollies, and that's what it was. It was one of them on a popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> used to sell it to kids. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice. Right. That uh, takes me back. It's been a few yeah. years since I drank one of them. And like I say, it, for, for less than five pounds, yep. that bottle. It's five pounds, seven dollars, eight dollars. It's a half size mm. demijohn. Mm. And a, a gallon demijohn in this country costs about nine or ten quid. Yep. So that's half a gallon demijohn that you get in. The cider's free. If you're into brewing, the cider's free. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great bottle. Love, Love it. it. Love it. If you've got something you want to send us to try, address is in the link below. Um, except something you can't send alcohol from overseas and don't send anything that's baked or <clears throat> you know the drill don't have to tell them that right yeah don't send any illegal substances that's where Mike's gone <laughs> yeah. that's already cost us a mic it yeah. can't cost us enough <laughs> <laughs> Mike go and pick up this package for us <laughs> <laughs> ordered it off the dark web <laughs> he fell for it didn't he yeah, yeah. stung <laughs> <laughs> he's got to get the honey he got stung no um if you've got something to send, let us know. If you, if you can beat Scrumpy, so let us know what it is. If you've got something in the UK that you've seen online and you want us to try and you can't send it over, just let us know what it is and we'll buy it and we'll bring it down. We'll try it. And uh, we appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. We do need your support for subscriptions on this channel to grow it. Make us, uh, make us well known in the, uh, in the try industry. It's true. Catch you guys on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.